Hello and welcome to my F124 drive career mode here today for part 7 and round 7 of this Formula 2 season, the penultimate round. We've got a mixed weekend ahead of us, it's going to be nice and sunny for the sprint race. We have qualified a third for the feature, so we will be starting this sprint race from P8. And this was our qualifying lap then that took us to P3 for the future race. It's our second lap we did improve, we couldn't improve later on in the session. So this was the one lap that took us to P3. But now then let's go to the sprint race. The five foot lights are on. And we are racing from P8. It's a good start. Pretty even between Carrera and Iwaza, we've got a decent start from the background. Everyone all over the road trying to find a place. We're just going to play it nice and safe into town. We're still trying to gain some places. We're on the outside now. Looking to find a way through. I think we may have gained one place, but out front, Carrera has bolted. We're side by side now with Driver. We're going to force him a long way now in Vancouver Grande. We do. And now it's game on to try and get back through. Down the inside, we get another place. I think there was a Martins into the second chicane. We're up into P6. We've gained two positions on this opening lap so far. Now we're on the back of Miney. We're going to go for a look down the inside off. Just a little bit too far back. He slams the door firmly shut. Head down under the old track see it is Carrera from Iwaza from a fitter powder so it's a Red Bull Junior 2-3 currently in the early stages as we are getting closer and closer to the back of Miney now as heading up to the Parabolica the final corner of this legendary track we've got a good run of Parabolic now we're going to look to the inside of Miley can we use this luxury to get past it we're getting closer and closer and closer no DRS yet though as we head down the straights we're right on the back of them we're getting closer and closer we're going to pop to the inside we're not only going to get Miley we're going to get Leclerc as well after Leclerc We've got two positions now, and we find ourselves peaceful. It's mining and Arthur Claire are going wheel to wheel around the Club of Grande. They go, they side by side, down into the second chicane. Who's giving up? Leclerc is giving up, and mining is through. And now they're iron up P3 onto the podium. We're having a great sprint so far, but I would have got Silverstone and we won, won from 10th that day. Things have gone very wrong well since that year. We're getting closer, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. They're all over the road in front of us as it was it gets past Carrera. Now we're going to catch Fittipaldi napping. He was watching the battle for the lead and we're snuck on the outside of him. Now Carrera and it was are side by side. We're in the slip stream of Correa and we're going round the Casa Grande. We're going to make it really wide. Heading down into the second chicane. This isn't going to end well, but it is for us. We go into the chicane. We've gained two positions there at one corner. It's a sensational move. And in the space of a sector, we've gone from P4 to P1. We lead this feet this point. Now, they're starting to pull away as Carrera and Iwaza continue to battle very hard. Iwaza on the outside, he looks like he's got the exit to take P2. He has taken P2. And the gap now is just over a second between us, but Carrera is not done yet with Iwaza. As he goes to the outside, a lap 8, we are run now. He's got to the inside, Fittipaldi is all over the road, trying to find a way through, but Correa is back into P2. What a battle this is, this is just allowing us to get further and further down the road. We've got a nice little gap to those behind us now, as here is now Iwaza going back at Correa. 
I think he's got him before turn one and Graham May lose out now to Fittipaldi. Fittipaldi's on the outside, Fittipaldi's on the inside, coming out of the second corner, but Graham on that outside line has the better traction and stays ahead now ahead of Fittipaldi. But Graham is not done yet. You can see the cap that was pulled out nearly five seconds as they're once again going at it. This is a great battle and it's only for P2. Guerrero has gone back down the inside. Now around the outside, Guerrero is going to retake P2 in this sprint race on the final lap of the sprint. Can Fittipaldi, can Guerrero, well, so find another way through? But for us, we got the job done early on in this sprint. We are sprinted away from the challenging pack. We're back on top. It's been tactically masterminded by us. We are going to win sprint. So we've done a great job there. We've won the sprint race from P8. It was a great, great race. What a race though between Guerrero and Iwaza and Fittipaldi as well fighting for those final podium places. Carrera did come out on top in the end holding back the Red Bull Junior drivers. Our championship rival in Terpajeth finished 10th, our teammate down in 14th and it was Zane Maloney who is the final finisher of the day. So that's been the sprint very good sprint result. Can it be the same for the feature race but there is rain on the way. Hello one, hello all, and welcome to the commentary box. I'm Alex Jakes, he is Alex Brundle, and we have changeable conditions today, Alex. How does that uncertainty affect the strategy? There are going to be some quivering hands on the tyre guns, aren't there, when they tighten up what could easily be the wrong specification of tyre completely for the conditions. It's a gamble out there. Teo Polcher has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and it's Dennis Hauger in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid we have, Brown, Deruvela, Kushmini, Leclerc, Fittipaldi, Duan, Awasa, Juan Manuel Correa, Novelak, Hajar, Frederick Vesti, Richard Vashaw, Stanek, Benavides, Cordiel, Jack Crawford, Boschon, Behrman, Martins, and Zane Maloney completes the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. So we're here on the grid then, head of the feature race, starting P3. Hopefully we can have another good feature race, like we did for the sprint, another race. We're starting on the mediums, going to the soft, ultra soft, I think that is. But we have got those rainy conditions where really it's pretty much inters, but I'm recording this at the stage of the game where it only just come out a couple of days so these kind of things haven't been patched yet in terms of the racing in the game but let's go then to the five lights ahead of the feature race we are racing and we've got a lot of ball speed but our second phase of the start is absolutely brilliant we're into P2 we're now going to go side by side into turn one with our challenger rival to the chair, we're around the outside of the chair. We take the lead, you know, try and find the traction of the turn two, which we have. But now, the chair is still on the inside of us, it's still there. We go very wide, round the cover grande, we cover off the chair, he backs out of it, and he has to live to fight another day as we go into turn four in the lead. Can we stay there now? Because we did the same thing back in Zanvoort last time out. We led the feature race and we had a lovely trip through the gravel as we nearly drop it there. Going through the Lesmos, we somehow keep the car in a straight line and not going round. At the end of that, we really struggle struggling for traction. It is intermediate conditions, really. As we've been done then by Pichet after we had a little moment coming out of the power bottle. We now made it absolutely sprint. We're back into P3 after the start. 
to the outside, I think he's going to pull me. We're going to break late tonight, but we've overcooked it. We've overcooked it big time. We're going straight on at turn one, having to go through the chicanes, hitting the polystyrene barriers. And now we're tumbling down as we get back into the track and try and find some traction. We've gone from the lead to P3 to all the way down in P7. It's all gone wrong yet again. We've made another rookie error, just like we did last time out in, in Sanford. When we went through the gravel, this time a lot different. Can we have kept that through? We're really struggling for traction. It's like it was in the final stages of the Zandvoort feature race. We've gained a couple of places back. We're into P5. There is a lot more grip than it was in that Okay, race. unlucky mate. That wasn't quite what we needed, That's but hard. let's not worry about it. Get your head down and chin up. There's a long way to go. Okay mate, I'm afraid we didn't We've quite get what we needed there, but let's not worry about it. Get your head the down now, chin up, let's focus right to the chicken flag. Okay mate, that feels quite what we needed, I'm afraid, but look, let's move on. Get your head down and chin up, let's focus to the end of the race. As we head down, the pitch runs. We've already started to order for an up now, as we struggle to find traction. Let's see if we can get some more traction going. Okay mate, that's not quite what we needed, I'm afraid, but let's not worry about it. Get your head down and chin up, let's focus to the end of the race. We can hold around the outside though of... of Jack doing. But Jack has got us coming out of turn two. But we're going to have a nice slipstream now. There's green flags flying in the background. I'm not sure if there was, there was briefly yellow flags further back. But we're all over the back of Jack Doohan. Are we close enough to send it back down the inside? No, we're not. We're going to have to back out and lift the fire another day. But I think that may be it. I think Jack Doohan make it up the road. And he has. We've now got Arthur Leclerc and we battle back in Monaco all over the back of us. We've run wide though at the final corner. And we've lost our yet again. We've been absolutely swamped. The AI acting like this track is bone dry whilst we are absolutely skating round. It's a lap 8 of 13 into the first chicane. We've lost multiple positions now. We're only just inside the top 10. We're currently ninth from once, from one lap at least. We led this race. As then side by side is the Wazza and Dennis Hauger. The Wazza really won with the sprint. I think we had that great battle with Grego as we found out. But around the outside, Dennis Hauger gets past the Wazza. And now the trolley train is really starting to form. Helga is going to have a look at getting past the... No, it's Hadja, sorry, Hadja. Hadja has got us around the outside, but it doesn't matter because we are going to box at the end of lap 8. You see Jack Dillon just up the road as we trundle down on the pit lane now. It is going to be the softs. Super soft, as I think they're called in Formula 2. Is now off go the mediums on go fresh tyres to get us to the end. With just four, just seven laps to go. We've just be out Iwaza out of the pits as everyone flies past. These are all still yet to box, I believe. So we should still be in a fairly decent position. It's just about getting these tyres up to temperature. Now you can see the absolute train behind us coming out of the pits. It's now into turn one. Everyone's just come straight out of the pits. It's gone a bit deep round the outside. Guys, guys, it was around us. It's absolutely done round the outside there. We are on the back of the water though. We're going to look to get him back into the second chicane. We're too far back. We are too far back to do anything. We nearly left out to stand up there as well. It's another lap as well. Yeah, we run a little bit wide. Lap 10. I just want to get to the end of this race now. We're absolutely all over the road trying to find any sort of grip on this track. And now look at the we're briefly four wide I think there, heading down into the first again. We're gonna send it late. I think that was someone trying to get around the outside there. We're all 
We break later, this time we slow it down, we don't go through it straight on at turn um, 1 and we stay ahead of Gray. Can we just get away? We need a break in this race, we're just being absolutely mugged. We're having to put in our best defensive shift despite the conditions. Back down the inside, we're gonna go and Pereira. He thought we got the job done, but I think he has this time. He's done it from the outside. If we can get the exit, we may have to go back at him, but that will have an option. Here comes our fellow Mercedes Junior. He's done it, man. It's actually my teammate. Don't lose how it goes, we're just in front. I don't know the pack is absolutely done it in the air on the outside. Great move for him. And now he's going to be iron. Let's up this lap 14 off 15 into the final corner. Coming on to the final lap, we've had a big moment there. We've gone right on top of the curb, and that's really slowing us down. And now we're going to be sitting down, headed down the pit straight. Vesti, who got us on the final lap in this feature race in Zanfort with three wide there, we've been done by our teammate and Vesti. Still side by side with our teammate, we've been trying to keep it around the outside. Hasn't done it, we've been absolutely double teamed there by Vesti and our teammate. And now let's just see if, if we can get to the end of this race. We're currently now in P16, but up front, probably the worst result for us. Teo Pacher has once again, like at Silverstone, mastered these conditions and wins the feature race here in Monza. It's going to be Drivela, P2, and Miley and Hajar rounding out the podium. Is on to the final lap now. There is there is another lap all over the back of us as we complete the final lap. We're running a bit wide now. There's another lap of a go up the inside of us. It's getting closer and closer. He's eyeing up the inside. He is eyeing up the inside into the final corner for the final time. We can hold on the outside. And Ali Bearman now is on the outside. Can he do another lap? Around the outside, I think he can here. He has. We're going to finish down in P16. ART, the French team who have been racing since the 90s in various forms of most sport, are once again back on the winner's podium today after a brilliant display of driving skill. So your race winner then is Taylor Pitcher, another big punch in terms of the World Championships. Driva and Dennis Hauger who round out the podium places. And Miney just missing out in P4 and it's Jack Doohan completing top 5. The stats will say he started P3 and finished 16th. The reality of the race would say something completely different. Those conditions are not for the dry tyres but it's another poor race for us going into the final round of the season and it was Ralph Boschon who finished stone dead last 22nd. In terms of the drivers then and the gap now going into the final round next time out in Abu Dhabi is just 13 points between us and Teo Pacher, Drivel is P3, he's got, still got an outside chance as well but really it's between us 
and temperature. I think today is the first time we briefly went wheel to wheel this season. It's very much been every time we've had a good race, the chair's been nowhere and vice versa in this season. The 13 points the gap, it is going down to the wire in Abu Dhabi. And down at the back, there's just two drivers who are still yet to score now, that being Jack Crawford and Ralph Boschon, and their teammate is in P9. In terms of the constructors then, and for the first time since I think Monaco, we've been jumped in the constructors. The gap is just 13 points. ART been very strong with both drivers, with both Pacher and Martins. They've both been in the mix if one of them's had a bad race. Pretty much been doing it on our own. Brad hasn't really been cutting it this season, I don't think. Everyone scored a point, but it is high tech right at the bottom with just 14 points so that's been this f2 weekend then for formula 2 a very mixed race weekend great for the sprint horrible for the feature race but feature race is where the points are and we've got one more feature race and sprint to sort that out nothing's really gone right since austria in this f2 season hopefully Abu Dhabi will be different. It will be a title decider between us and Terpacher and ART and PHM racing. So come back for the final round in Abu Dhabi and find out who will be world champion for Formula 2. Goodbye.